Hey guys, so this is Suman Charoda and today we will be discussing some of the differences between Fedora, Red Hat, Enterprise and CentOS. So all three are very major Linux OSs uh, worldwide and uh, there is a very good market share for all of those. So the first difference is that Fedora is a community based OS and uh, it has a huge community that contributes to the Fedora project. Red Hat has also a very large number of employees who work for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and CentOS is also a community-based OS. So uh, it has also a very good uh, community base. So Fedora is sponsored by Red Hat. So there is no way that Fedora is running out of money just to keep up with the pace of the world, uh, moving on all the functionalities in the Fedora project. And of course, uh, Red Hat has Red Hat leave no stone unturned to push the Red, Red Hat Enterprise Linux on the enterprise uh, platform. So it's the showstopper for Red Hat and the actual money making machine. CentOS is also affiliated with Red Hat since uh, 2014, and hence uh, a lot of uh, its proprietary rights are with Red Hat. So uh, the main thing about Fedora is that all the community people focuses on the new features and functionalities. So you must have noticed uh, if you are in the uh, OS uh, setting or administrator, whatever, if you are learning, you can also check out the Wikipedia page for all of these uh, OSs. So you must have noticed that Fedora OS releases every six months or so and has very short span of uh, support time. It's like around 12 months, 13 months or 14 months. So one enterprise or a big company cannot actually rely on an OS that uh, releases uh, features so quickly and doesn't even support uh, like more than a half of one and a half years. So here comes Red Hat's uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which actually focuses on uh, stableness, security, with all the features that Fedora used. So Red Hat actually sees what, what all features were, uh, did well on Fedora and what, what can we bring in from Fedora which can help uh, all the big companies around the world. So they pick up all those features and uh, package it on to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux and try to make a great product and it has they, they have uh, done a very good uh, thing in that and has a very good market share. CentOS is one of my favorite OS so as Red Hat is a paid OS uh, you'll see in the next point so uh, Red Hat is a paid OS and uh, Red Hat also earns money from Red Hat Enterprise Linux with a subscription model. So you have to take a subscription to actually uh, run it on your enterprise uh, platform. However, CentOS is free to use. So CentOS is actually made out of the source code of uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So they just build up all the same features. So 99% is same. Just the subscription management part is not there in the CentOS. So you can use uh, the YUM and DNF uh, without uh, getting to any subscriptions from Red Hat. So you can say that Red Hat and CentOS are technically 99% uh, same. It's just that you don't have to pay for CentOS and you, don't, you have to pay for Red Hat. However, there is uh, also support for CentOS but it's community based, so uh, you cannot rely it if you are working on a production server. However, if you have good administrators onto your company or you are a very good uh, technical person and you think if anything uh, is broke and you can mend it or fix it right away in your production system, then you are free to use CentOS on your enterprise and uh, they don't have any problems, so it's all very good. It's just that keeping up with the criticality, uh, most of 
the companies use Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So you can also have a combination like uh, you can keep all your critical servers on Red Hat Enterprise Linux and uh, all the non-critical servers on CentOS so that uh, you can have a good stableness of financial decisions. So uh, as we have discussed that Fedora is free to use. I'll also show you uh, onto a browser on the website. So here it is. So Fedora has also a workstation version and a server version. So you can download it from here, get fedora.org. It runs, it has all the latest features. So the Fedora 31 just released. So you can also contribute towards Fedora project by logging on to what can I do for fedora.org. And you don't have to be technical or if you are technical, you can choose your area of interest. It's like uh, whatever you want to choose, internalization, inst instruction, design, coding, community operations, writing, you can even do uh, translation for their pages that uh, needs to be read all over the countries. So you can choose uh, whatever you want. And in Red Hat, you have a lot of products. You, uh, you can have, you can really uh, even, they also offer evaluation version but it's not for the older version, just for the latest one. So you can get Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 right now as an evaluation for free. You can use it and uh, rate it or whatever you want to do, POC or anything like that. But uh, if you want to go for the older version and support, you have to go for the subscription method. Like say, uh, if I try to go with version 7 and below, I'll need to have an active subscription that I need to buy. You can have a look on purchase a subscription on the Red Hat website to see what all kind of subscriptions that there are a lot of subscriptions that they are giving out. So uh, you can also have CentOS. It's totally open source and uh, it's free. It's very good OS if you don't want to pay anything to anyone and just play it around and learn Red Hat because they run 99% same and actually CentOS is also very capable similar to Red Hat. So if we move on and talk to talk about licenses, uh, Fedora is registered on a lot of licenses so there are a few uh, free licenses and there are also proprietary firmware licenses Similar, same uh, same thing goes for Red Hat because there are a lot of uh, proprietary uh, firmware licenses that have to be carried out. So it also governs under a lot of uh, the long list, and you can also go on the Red Hat website to look at it. Then to is a WG and GDPL general public license. So that's uh, quite all the differences uh, that I have covered it in it, but there are thousands and thousands of comparisons and that we can do but for the right now uh, that's it from me thank you very much and you can always follow us on youtube for more content thank you